Everyone just wanted to talk to you about how to set up a video into Pivot, how to upload it. Um, so first off, make sure your reference is there, make sure you have your object, and that you rolled it at a constant speed and you got a good video, okay? Um, once you have a good video, what you're gonna do is if it's on your phone, you can go to a web browser. So I'm gonna go to my web browser here, which is Google Chrome on this one. And uh, I'm going to just search Pivot Interactives. And I'm gonna go find it and I'm gonna log in. Once you log in, you're gonna see your class, your, your class assignments, and I'm gonna go find finding the speed of something. Now, once you do that, um, so I already had done this once. So when you do that, um, you're gonna come in here and then you're gonna find a button in this area that says uh, file. You're gonna click that and then you're going to find the file of the video you just recorded and then you're gonna hit upload, okay? Or up, uh, update, okay? Um, and once you do that, it will uh, update and run, it'll upload that file and then you're gonna hit save and then what it does is put your video onto a student upload. So now when you say launch player, there's my video. And you can probably see here in just a second, if I hit play, there it is. And there is my tennis ball, just went across the screen, okay? Now, if you don't have access um, to you know, no phone and you can't find Pivot, you could take your um, video from your phone, upload it to Google Drive, and then just go to Pivot on your Chromebook and upload it that way. That's, that's method two. And the third method, is I can just open up my camera on my Chromebook. Uh, to do that, you go down to the circle on the bottom left, open that up, search camera, just record a video. Uh, make sure you have your reference point and your object. It's gonna go across and you're gonna record it just like that. Then you would go to uh, Pivot Interactives like normal and you would upload it that way.